All right, I'm back. Make sure you guys press the like button. The price of Drip X is slowly increasing. Slowly increasing. We're at 5027, which probably rounded, as you can see. And the buy and burns are on time. I believe it's this, this address right here. Coming in every 10 minutes on time. So by the time we finish this video, there should be another buy and burn coming in. And that's key uh because there's not a lot of sales consistently like every minute every 30 seconds uh that are that are uh larger sales like five hundred dollars is, is on the larger end compared to uh a few days ago um and when that happens when there's smaller amounts of sales consistently it allows the buy and burn to come in and do its thing uh because there are not many buys from participants is basically the buy and burn and then we'll have a buy here and there and then we'll have people adding and uh removing liquidity basically uh on pancake swap so this is allowing the price to appreciate and the liquidity to grow you know what i'm saying that's awesome we're still under a one million dollar market cap still uh fairly new and it's 20 days you know, so there's a lot of opportunity here. I believe we might still be in the top 10 last time I checked on deck screener. And again, I see this as this is this is the long term bullishness I see in this project. And when I say long term, I'm talking like four to eight months in between there. You create or one creates long miners four four month miners, six month, five month miners seven month miners this is going to allow time for the project to mature this is going to allow time for for uh the market to get even more bullish because at, at that time four more months from now we we would we would be several months into post having uh and once bitcoin does its thing ethereum does its thing bnb does its thing by the time your miners uh are mature the price might not but the price might go from five zeros to seven to three zeros to seven like it was before now you're claiming at a higher bnb price and you're claiming at a higher drip x price and the guys that's providing liquidity uh has more of an incentive to to do that long term so it's going to be a lot of people winning the only guys that are actually losing are guys like me you know what i'm saying doing the wrong thing but you live and you learn, right? So let's take a look at our vault. We have 43,000. I think we're on day four. Day four of the vault, uh, basically having liquidity on pancake swap. And as bro, that was so smart that the team did that. They could have done something on pancake swap, which, you know, could or could work out, could or could not work out. They could have done something on another uh decentralized app which you know that's that would be kind of crazy because other projects have done that in the past and they always fail they went to pulse chain where's 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 going down over there richard hart got a lot of press going on based on some things that he's been that he said about you know ehex which i guess that was the original but now he got his own chain that's like the jump off basically and then the main one is 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 Pulse chain or PX, right? Or they just call that hex now. So there's a lot of stuff going on over there. People moving liquidity to Pulse chain um, from Ethereum uh, and and wherever else. And you know the team went over there and got a piece of that, or they're getting a piece as of right now. So you know what I'm saying. Our total stake balance is still on point. Uh, they're going to be slowly growing this, and then they're going to take a. a a portion i still don't know the numbers yet y'all i apologize on that but they're going to take a portion of that so let's just say let's just say in seven days this is sixty-five thousand or seventy thousand let's just say they take 50 percent or whatever maybe 35 000, 30 let's just say 50 percent of 70 is thirty-five thousand, right they take thirty-five thousand at the price of drip x right now and buy miners I'm going to say the same thing every day until it happens. And then if it don't happen, then I'll just change up what I'm saying. And if it does, then we'll kind of build from there. My shares are still the same. It's going to come 
the BNB, 28% of that is is going to be feeding the uh the uh P, the shareholders basically. So, you know what I'm saying? That's bullish for the stakers. Um and it's going to be bullish for the the price of drip X because we're going to be buying and burning as we as we've been doing. And we have an outside source that's independent from the participants of the projects of the project uh also bringing liquidity in in the form of b and b and we're going to be uh buying drip x and burning it in from another source as well so when you got those things just working over the course of weeks and months all only thing that's really left is just People adapting the project again, and when I say again, obviously people aren't buying miners. This this is just tell this will tell you right here if people are buying miners or not, or just one of the things that'll tell you that. And we have uh we have you guys know I like to measure things right. We can measure the first eight days we've reached, so we have a somewhat of a barometer. We've reached four hundred thousand in the eight day cycle. So we know at least what's possible. Maybe that's a lower end. Maybe that's a higher end. We don't have enough data to figure that out just yet. But we do know that that's more bullish than where we are right now. That's a fact. So maybe the days to come, the weeks to come, the months to come, we can start hitting numbers like that again on the eighth day. That's going to that's gonna encourage or make it more attractive to get shares into the staking pool via drip X. That's going to be even less drip X on the market. Like something like this will start off slow. We started off, we started off good because uh, there wasn't, inf there wasn't any inflation for the first eight days. And then the inevitable happened. We knew that stuff was going to happen. Now we had a healthy spot. Like everything that that's happening, we kind of knew was going to happen. What we can shout out is it didn't get worse. Nobody got exploited. Nobody got rubbed. Team didn't run off. You know what I'm saying? That's two million. They could have, man, come on, y'all. So everything is working accordingly. And the team has something uh, something beneficial and bullish every other day. So even though I haven't increased my stake in the project, I'm still going to cover it because it's worth covering based on the work that the team and some of the community leaders are put, uh, putting in. I make daily videos and probably till about 30 days. You know what I'm saying? After 30 days, we're going to figure something out. But at least after we got three more days for to measure this, that's something else to talk about. Then we're going to see around that time, I might have like, I don't know, two to three more days for this. Uh, You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and that's basically, we're going to have more data to, to go through this again. Uh, And then from there, I'm going to assess if it, if it, if, if I if I'm going to make a daily video or not because I think I'll have enough information to kind of just coast with my journey. Maybe I'll do a uh, once uh, a couple of videos a week like how I used to do. Uh it depends. If they come out with something else that's work that 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 has the gravity uh for me to cover then and it has that en enough weight, you know, where I can it's going to take some time to get the information out based on uh, the amount of data I feel like I need, then we'll go from there. You know what I'm saying? But something else I might do, if this is healthy enough in, in I don't know, what's this, uh, eight more days, is it's going to depend. Like when they buy that, the B&B &B coming from the outside source is going to happen before I get this. So we should see a, a slight boost in that. Because that's going to be BNB coming into the uh, the payouts. The, the miners are dead, so the miners aren't going to be staked or anything like that. So that's going to be straight up beneficial to stakers. Then I can say, hmm, okay, let me take this, whatever the number's going to be, $300, and get some drip X. And then I can just go long. I can just, I was, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about doing like $100 uh, miners, but maxed out. Something like that, uh, and just and just going and going and, and just working my way down, 
doing one per week. Once I get to a, a point where I'm comfortable with that, then I'll start filling in the in-betweens in between that one every two weeks. Or how, however I'm supposed to do it because a hundred bucks has the chance of getting you a thousand bucks. And the reason why I'm not going to use any percentages uh, or, or, or uh, minimizing percentages is because of the current price. I, I really believe, I really see the price increasing by the time 280 days hit for a minor, 250 days hit for a minor, 220 days hit for a minor. I see the price being higher. So even if it was $400, $500, this is just you paying your future self because you could have lost that money basically or did something, you know, that's not going to give you as a, a, a good a, as good return. So when that time comes and you just got them coming out, boom, 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 boom. You know, $400 a week, $500 a week, $1,000, whatever the number is based on your particip participation level, you know, and based on the price of BNB and all that stuff being more, you know, bullish at that time later on, it could be something to think about, man. Uh, I actually have more to talk about. Let me see if I can squeeze this in real quick. So on OKX, which is the exchange or the project uh, BB has, BB was one of the lead devs for Drip Network. They have, he posted something that has a, a drip sign symbol and a pair, what, I forgot what these things are called, but normally people post this for airdrops. So there's talks of airdrops for drip uh, participants. That's the way I decoded this because they didn't go too deep, too in depth with it. And that's smart. You know, that builds up the hype. This was posted yesterday. Man, I really hope that wasn't, this wasn't on the screen this whole time. If it was, I got to redo this video. Wow, was this on the screen the whole time? I man, I hope that was. If that, oh my God! Obviously, if it was, you'll ne you'll never know because you ne this video won't get uploaded. But if you're seeing this part, that means it wasn't. But damn. So um, I think it was, bro. I'll be damn, man. Um, <laughs> I'll be damn. Uh, so that's something else bullish. This was just posted yesterday, so we don't got that much information. Wait, this thing is kind of this. That thing Ray posted is kind of like, kind of crazy right there, but uh, that's something else coming out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going, I'm going heavy on airdrop. Like I'm going on, I'm going heavy on participating with airdrops lately. So I, I'm on, I'm doing the bear chain, something with bear chain. I'm doing something with B2. I'm doing something with freaking uh, uh, super sushi samurai or whatever it's called. Uh, and some other things. So I'm going hard on all this stuff because we're in the bull market and um, you're going to miss basically every shot that you don't take. <laughs> so you never know what's going to become of something. So you might as well just put in the work right now because I ain't got shit else to do. So uh, that's a, if you guys don't know about that, go over to the OK Exchange, OKX Exchange or whatever. It's, oh, man, I keep forgetting the name. I think it's called OKX, OKX Exchange. Go over to that. Go over to that Telegram and, and and go look for yourself. Keep yourself abreast to this information. You know what I'm saying? That way you don't have to uh, wait on anybody else to say anything. Because um, we might have something, you know, jumping out the window uh, next. And uh, I covered this project right here. This is what I was just talking about, Super Sushi Samurai. I just made a video about it about, you know, eight hours ago. Go check out that video. Uh, I had about, you know, 10 people sign up. I didn't know that was going to happen. I just threw it out there just in case people were interested because they're doing the airdrop on Mar wait, March 21st, which is nine more days from now. So you, it, you can come through, do the daily participation. I got about 10 guys doing it. So I know people are interested and that video didn't get a lot of views. The video might get like 200, 300 views max. And that, and that's, that's a good, that's, that's actually, if it's performing, it might get like 150 views. So I get like a 10% participation rate. So people are interested in this. So don't get it twisted. Like, Oh, he, he wasting his time with the video. Nah, I don't think so, man. So, uh, 
That that is from the creators of Krabata. People were making a hundred dollars a day on the low end, three hundred dollar days on the low end, two, three, four, five thousand dollar days, and and I'm talking about. I've seen videos of people saying they put five hundred dollars in on Krabata when it first came out, and these are non airdrop people. And then and then next thing, I wish I knew that. There's a guy named um, I forgot his name, bro. But there was another guy in the drip community that that um was making bank off of uh, Krabata. So I'm telling the point I was trying to drive home is what if that airdrop is good enough for you being an early participant to where you don't even need to uh put that much money in or any money in all at all. It's just really based on what you want to get out. So you might be able to put some in and get out at at a low level of a hundred dollars a day. Who knows? I don't think I don't think that's I don't think that's saying too much. I don't think that's uh reaching. There's people who've done airdrops and, and the airdrop be worth five thousand. Like I, I've 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 seen a lot. That, that's why guys go so hard on that stuff. And for me, like a few years ago, I told myself I wouldn't do it because I just didn't want to do that much work. You know, that it really comes down to laziness and 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 putting in work and and, and if it's gonna be worth it. But you don't really know. I mean, there's ways we can measure, like some projects be, some projects will have like hundreds of millions worth of funding. You can kind of tell like, okay, this guy, this project got 50 million worth or 200 million worth or a million, you know what I'm saying? 5 million already. Like then you can kind of say, okay, well, that airdrop might be decent. You know, this other project I just mentioned, uh, they have an allocation going towards the fair launch. They got allocation going to airdrop. So even if it's a small percent, if they are able to garner support, financial support from from the Blast company, Blast IO or whatever it's called, that could be a, a good jump start. Because like Ray mentioned, uh, they're bringing 60, 70,000 people. This stuff grow quick. It might be a 70,000 by the time you see this video. They're bringing 100,000 people to the network by the time they launch. That's worth you supporting them uh, with some type of funding because you're going to get paid on the back end for fees and participation on the on the on the chain. You know what I'm saying? So. And that's and that's and why is that important? That's good for us guys who participate. Help grow their ecosystem and, and sometimes in turn, well, in this particular situation, in turn. They give back. It might be some worth a thousand. It might be some worth a hundred dollars. It might be some worth five hundred dollars. It might be some uh, enough stuff worth two thousand. And you just got in early. It happens all the time, y'all. And I miss that crap all the time because I don't do it. So if you want to participate in this, check out my other video, and then all the information for my other. It's just called Super Sushi. You just find it on my channel. All the information is going to be in the. The chat and then the description. And so far, I got zero DMs. And I got people who actually jumped in and did the tasks. So I know it's not difficult. You know what I'm saying? That let me know it wasn't difficult. But other than that, that's all I got, man. This was supposed to have been a nine-minute video, but I stretched and added all, all that other stuff. So make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the like button. And subscribe to that bell. And be nice to that bell. This is Icy. I'll see you guys in the next video.